The former president, Jacob Kejeshegi Sazuma's arms deal corruption case returns to court this morning. He's facing 18 charges of corruption, racketeering, fraud and tax evasion linked to his alleged corrupt relationship with the former financial advisor, Shabir Sheikh. And Zuma has pleaded not guilty. Now, to give us context and set the scene ahead of the proceedings this morning, I'm joined by our senior reporter, Spaman Lagoke. Uh, who is following the case for us in Peter Marisbeke. Spamanja, good morning again. We're getting that closer to the start of today's pre-trial proceedings. What can we expect? We expect proceedings to get underway just after 9.30 this morning or 10 o'clock. At the center of the proceedings today, the gist is about what is known as the pre-trial proceedings and logistics. In other words, today's proceedings are mainly about the defense and the state briefing the court as to what they have done to iron out what would have been outstanding issues. I'm talking about the exchange of uh, certain information, documents. Remember, this case is expected to be one of the longest trials in the history of South Africa. You are talking about volumes and volumes of paperwork and documents that need to be shared between the two parties, that being the state and the defense team in this regard. Because of the lengthy delays that we have witnessed in this matter, Judge Kosnati clearly set down the matter for today for pre-trial proceedings to deal with outstanding issues and logistics. Our viewers would recall that the defense team of former President Jacob Zuma complained about what they called at the time outstanding further particulars from the state. They were alleging and accusing the state of not supplying them with certain particulars and information that they needed to prepare for the trial. So the court said, okay, let's set out some time. Let's give you months. Come back on the 29th of August.